Welcome back. In theory, Disseminate can use that tankiness against them. Like, is it, are you going to throw it on the Pudge? Or are you throwing it on Bristle? Or are you throwing it on this Veno when they go on Veno? That seems pretty cool. Like, you're going to sure. take a huge amount of damage. That damage is going to get spread around. So I'm kind of excited to see how the Shadow Demon interacts with the game. You know, can he deal with some of the same things he used to? Does he abuse him just as hard? And early disruption into that Blood Ring. Yeah, they are going to get a blast in from the Coddle, but it's... Oh, Ooh. maybe the hook! They can the go for the deny and they get it. Mickey manages to land that one just before the rest of the Fnatic hits come in. So <laughs> That's what you're They're so on their way. <laughs> Look at this. Matumba Man taking a lot of damage. He's trying to front here so they can actually get a successful hard camp pull off, which he'll take a lot of damage for it. But if it's successful, it's good. But it looks like he's going to be dying for this. Is maybe they can go that for the deny. They it miss all. it. Jabs gets the first blood. Both sides are just. It's stick mani up here. Toss back. Well, they've got the coil and Boy, the toss okay. back. Really nice combo executed by Fnatic. That is going to get the kill onto Matumba Man. I feel like uh, Pudge is, would definitely be farther ahead in the old previous patch just because he farmed the easy camp so well. He is going to find a free kill here on Jenny Wells. Just kind of ends up walking through the nighttime jungle straight into the open arms of the Pudge. But they are going to be going Steal for these stacks. stacks. Yeah, some nice steal there for Armel. Armel oh, has. But that does leave Palos alone, and that is a big kill that Zai picks up. And Seeds of Serenity, just a bit of heal. They go for the coil. Palos throws down the rupture too. So they've got an ultra combo with this toss back. Snaps the coil and does a bunch of rupture damage. Mickey pulling Boxy back to safety. You know, Coddle Bat can shove the waves and Nyx finds the pick off. Play off that. They go for the disruption, the tiny TP in with the purge and another TP coming in from Jabs. Zai will fall again. I feel like Fnatic is making all these nice maneuvers. Uh oh, Armel's in trouble. He's been grabbed, and Boxy's going to be able to deliver the finishing blows here with a vendetta and a final swing from Mickey. And Fnatic will not be able to catch anybody on the retreat either. And already, you could see Zai sets up to defend the rest of the top. They do have the coil and the glyph. They protect the creep, the allowing in. Jabs to be able to complete that boots of travel TPN. Nicely played by Fnatic. Hood, Vanguard, Ogre Club, Point Booster, Gold on top. Boxy does manage to land the Impale, nice pull back in with the hook. That is a dead Bloodseeker. Zion's going to go for more. The Boots of Travel, he's got the Sticky Nate Palm on Januel. Now he does have a Disruption, so maybe he can buy himself a bit more time? How fast uh, are you? Yeah, <laughs> how, how much enough? are they going to go for the dive with the Bling Forward? They get the hook, and that'll be a second one. <laughs> Seeds. Will not save you there, sir. Now, Liquid's getting just so much farm in this Bristleback, but can Fnatic compete with them going late? Nice catch here on Tabak. Oh, no. The toss doesn't quite allow them to Still be able to finish impale. it off, and now it's going to be the Puck who dies instead. Armel fairy pops fire. a Fairy Fire. Maybe he has a coil, but he doesn't have a way out. No spells available. Nyx Assassin is getting low. DJ's going to finish him off with the Avalanche, and the Batrider snaps the coil and dies to the Purge. Now Matumba Man charging forward, going after DJ, who will just TP out. Mick eats here. him first, though. A seventh Flesh Heap stack for the big boy. Does, Double uh, rupture? Uh, no. no, the one that does percentage based. Matumba Man. Yeah, yeah, 10%. So even more. Little poke purge. Yeah, he's <laughs> he looks super tanky, but the bigger kill is on the side here. Insania goes down first, but a blink forward from Mickey. Nice Almost disruption. Catchy, beautiful disruption with the Shatter Demon, but it's not enough. Armel could not get out in time. Oh, and the hook back. Mickey says, Where are you going? Well, apparently it's Mickey who's gotta go. This fight looks like a disaster, as now with the comeback here of Armel, they're just gonna be able to run over Liquid, and Mickey turns a little piggy, but it can't run fast enough, and Zai. The only he could do was just sit and watch on the sidelines as the rest of his allies fall. Yeah, and you've got some nice one-to-one -one answers against the Bristleback, hurting his mobility, percentage-based damage, pull back onto the Shadow Demon, trying to get aggressive. They do manage a really a coil. good coil and silence, and it'll be Boxy who dies for it. A toss from the low ground from DJ secures that kill. Very nicely done. BKB1 online for Matumba Man. Mickey also has the BKB. Right, here's so. the smoke. This is the must-win scenario yep. for Liquid. Double BKB. Boxy got to find. Oh, oh, he misses Januel, but the hook. Oh, good disruption. I mean, he's still dead, but hey, he bought some time at least. Yeah, but Fnatic on the backside. They do catch Insania. They also have a good lasso onto the Venomancer. They can kill him fast enough. He does manage to get off his ultimate. That may allow the Bloodseeker to go to hand here as he starts going for it, but the TP out. Zai's going to be okay thanks to the, the dismember coming in from Mickey. No, he's not. He actually does still die. The oh, no, back. the hook. 
right in the way. Armel's going to be able to jump to the other side of these trees is away Palace from the bristle back. Palace is out. How did that happen? <laughs> Armel, also with a nice jump over on the trees, gets the Nyx Assassin kill and gets out. Now, Fnatic Liquid still, they ward. have to feel strong, but Fnatic is going to be able to find the opening again. The Nyx Assassin immediately buys back. Again, Liquid has to use this timing and win this fight. Otherwise, Armel it feels like trouble. the game's going to stall out. Armel, he has an orb. Didn't get the blink. He's got a silence. He's got a coil, Ooh. but he gets caught. Nice hook there from the Pudge to be able to grab him. Tumba Man's taking a lot of damage from all this. The heals are going to come through from Insania, but still not Jabs that much. Jabs is going for it. He forced steps in. He's going to try and grab it if he's already been lassoed. Oh, they jump in from DJ, but no. Tumba Man grabs the Aegis in time, and they will manage to just outright win this fight. Bloodseeker has a lot of low heroes. He might be able to clean up Boxy he's first. He strong. goes through the Spike Carapace with his BKB. Now he starts running through Matumba Man. It looks like the heal will save him from the purge damage, so Matumba Man actually keeps the Aegis intact. Armel getting stunned here, looking for the Nyx. Does have a gem. Oh, Mickey actually wants to be able to fight this one. It's just the two of them. I mean, the rest of Liquid is coming in soon. He's got the BKB. He's big, he's bad, he's tanky. DJ's going to be pulled back in. They also have the last one of the Shattered Demon. All important, the two supports are dead. But Mickey has just been torn apart by Palos. But his BKB is going to wear out. And now he's going to be slowed down by Matumba Man. He managed to get the club onto him. But Palos, it's a, it's a slow, not a stun. So he just TP'd straight out. Armel? Is he going to be okay here? He's got another orb, and Zai doesn't have a uh, lasso, so. Should be all jabs. jabs. Absolutely fearless. Looking to go straight for the Batrider kill and TP out. Oh, oh my. my god, the ball's on that man. That's how you play Venno right there. You're taking some notes. <laughs> Always go in, never Damn. retreat. Assuming Bloodseeker's alive. Now Bloodseeker dies. Now Palos. That would be a good be target to be able to grab first. Lincoln they broke pop. the Lincolns. The hook comes through, and they managed to grab him. He gets off the BKB first. Meanwhile, they've also caught the Shattered Demon. No disruption. Going to be able to come in. He doesn't have a buyback either. Jabs. He gets off a good ultimate with the BKBs, though. It looks like Fnatic may be on full retreat here. Uh, Armel does have the coil and push through and gets the Nyx Assassin kill, but does he have a way out? He's going to be able to jaunt to his orb. The hook is not going to be on point this time around. Armel, blink out. He'll be fine. So, Armel, once again, just kind of diving into these fights, but knows because lack of stuns. You know, somebody's the smoke from Fnatic this time around. They're going to go for the rupture, rupture toss, toss back. Does a ton of damage, too. Get and they managed to get the bash as well. No dismember coming out whatsoever. And it's going to be a dead pudge to start things off. They look to be able to grab more heroes, but this is Roshan. Is there a world where you try and kill him? All right, rupture Another rupture, backup. another toss back, and another round of ultimates as uh, the Bristleback using the BKB does have a little bit of time, but the, uh, the Purge is just preventing him from doing so much. Disruption nice disruption save. save as well. Jab's getting a little bit low. The, oh, the totem goes for it. He finishes him off. A TP out to nine as the coil comes through from Armel. Mickey is here, and he's got his BKB, but once again, the Bloodseeker challenges him to a fight, and Mickey knows that's a fight he can't win. He did heal up Matumba Man a decent amount and got the hook onto the puck, but they didn't have the damage. He jumps away. Once again, Boxy, meanwhile, in the middle of no man's land, he is... Stun them all? Oh, no! Palos gets the Maelstrom proc needed to get that kill, but can they do Roshan? His eye smoked up. Oh, if he gets the right kind of hook here, Armel's going to stop him, though. Jumps in, sounds half his health, gone already. Mickey gets forced out to safety. But a good start for Fnatic. They can go back to finishing up this Roshan. This is going to come down to ages. They're helping out Palos. He's going to pop his VKB. They're all in for it. Who's going to be able to outright click it? It's on the ground somewhere. Boxy managed to grab the Aegis of all the heroes. It's the Nyx Assassin who grabs it. But the inside combo. the pit, they just get combo down. Mickey's going to go for the TP out. A bash, bash. a bash. First hit bash for Palos. Praise Gabe. Gets Mickey killed, and the Nyx Assassin, that second life is worthless to him. They may have stopped the Aegis going into the hands of Fnatic of what Liquid could do. DJ looking for the toss rupture, potentially. He is going to be able to get the toss. No rupture just yet. Mickey pops BKB. Meanwhile, the Ignis Vaughn is going to be able to control DJ Stop right from the lasso. Tier 3, but it's still Mickey who is susceptible to Palos, and the physical damage just runs him through. They do have the bat right in the back line held in by the coil, but it looks like, oh no, Armel didn't have enough to be able to get away. But Top of Man, man fighting up against Palos, who gets healed after Multiple healed buybacks. from the Shatter Demon, but they cannot go for this Bristle Bank underneath the Tier 3. Mickey with a buyback. Misses the hook on a Jan. Well, should be able to get jabs, though. Sticks on top of him with the rod. 
shot. That's a kill, no problem. What about Januel, though? Hiding in the trees, doesn't have a way out. Spotted by Liquid, so the buybacks will pay off for Team Liquid. They not only hold, but they get a few kills there. Does Liquid really want to take this 4v5? Oh, they recall. They have a recall. They're going to be able to pull him back in. They spot the bristle back and they can't go for the toss. Oh no, the Psy stops him. A hook goes out. Mickey misses it, but they should still be able got to have the, the DJ kill. And they got the Shadow Demon. Both the supports on the side of Fnatic are already dead, but they've got the double buybacks, buybacks with a beautiful coil being set up. Massive and here ult. comes Palos. Immediately gets bashed up though. Turns around the bash onto the bristle back. He starts looking at Boxy, Just but once the everybody. DKB starts running out, he's going to be able to get the coddle. Boxy popping back out, trying to go for the puck. Won't be able to get it. Hook denied. Mickey falls and it looks like Boxy burrowing back in. In, but Armel certainly Matumba eventually Matumba man it just goes to the Bristleback finishes him off but he doesn't have any supporting cast it's now the Bristleback against the world tries to it go for the DP out but a disruption denies him can they just slowly take him down he does get a bash in but they should be able to just They're kite broken. him no problem nobody's gonna die to this the Bristleback falls so they're probably just gonna go for some Raxes here still huge team fight win we didn't mention it, but Armel just went absolutely ham on the backside of that fight. He's an absolute menace. I mean, good luck carapacing this guy. Ooh, trying to catch DJ. All right, the rest of the liquid is up, and they still have a lane of barracks. He's got multiple toss charges, no target required. He's got a damn Wind Waker, for God's sake. They set up a ward to be able to get there that toss back, and there you go. Zai, you almost did instantly for the toss back and then the force back up to the high ground. Eat him! Mickey saves him, bails him out. Palos is going in for it, though. He refreshes. He wants to be able to get... He's going to get bashed up. Palos, he's not very fast at all. The <laughs> hook comes through. Mickey grabs him. That's Liquid ages. have a chance now. The will o wisp It's going to be able to pull these heroes in. Mickey, they're looking at him, but they, maybe they should just get out. Jen, well, he's going to be able to get the toss back on his eye, but Matemba is doing some serious damage. Disruption's going to be able to buy him a little Palos bit of time. The Shadow in. Demon's going to fall pretty quickly. And the BKB, once it wears out from Palos, he's doing some serious damage to the Bristle Bank, but he knows he needs to get away from this Nyx disaster. They Meanwhile, Mickey, he managed to grab Bash. Armel. Armel jumps into Matemba, man. Very dangerous. A last little bit of damage. And Mickey does fall, but he does have a buyback. Box is going to die as well inside of the base. All buybacks going out now. Liquid fighting for their lives against Fnatic, against five of Fnatic. The hook, the hook. Mickey doesn't dare to throw it out there. He's got to find something. Blinks to the other side. He needs a pick somewhere in here. They cannot let Fnatic get away, but they do. Everybody Armel walks out. Still playing with him. Armel. He's, he's going in. Absolutely fearless. Oh, Bash! No way! Oh. How is he alive? He gets out on just the smallest sliver of HP. This man is insane. Liquid, they have no buybacks, and Fnatic, they almost have all of them. Pre Jabs, DJ. drops awards, goes for the toss back. That's there it is, the bristle target. back. Taken outside of the base, and Palo starts going to work. Can Matumba Man fight against Hook this? Save. The hook back into the heat. He is alive. Mickey has pulled him out of the fire and flames and back to the safety of the fountain. DJ, once more. Nice Carapace. Once, once again. Two. They are so desperate to keep forcing these fights. Fnatic are going to fight into the tier fours. They're going through this Nyx Assassin. They're going to deal with the will of us. They're tossing got this Nyx Assassin. He's popping this by Carapace. Mickey comes in. He goes for the Dismember on jabs instead of trying to save the Nyx Assassin. And there goes Boxy. Mickey right in the middle of all of them. But Palos decides to call it quits. They're going to retreat, wait out these BKBs. They've got a little bit of time here, but DJ, he's not going to let no, them get back. back. Matumba Man, he's been tossed back in, forced to be able to fight, forced to go for DJ, pushed away no from save. Mickey. He's dead for two minutes. Liquid, not going to be able to have much left in the tank anymore. Jab, still oh, push, push, push. Oh, this is just dirty. Playing them absolutely like a fiddle. Jabs, you disgusting Venomancer player. Toying with Liquid through and through to the absolute end, and they will close out this game. 58 minutes, Fnatic will finally take it. Would you say these are the late game fights versus a lineup with infinite kiting potential. These two cores between the Pudge and the Bristle just getting run around like a circus, man. Yeah. It's just too hard to stick on people, and can't help but feel that Liquid, they had the strength on the early game from Mickey. Game number two of Liquid versus Fnatic with Cap and SVG. I mean, he's uh, he, he knows what he's doing. He's going to make the right decisions. But that's why I'm saying this game. Oh, the, the blink is back up. up. I'm not sure if Jabs realizes that one. He goes for a deep dive. Mickey, though, maybe turning and fighting was fires. not the best idea. He offers the hand, and he, he does it. manage to get the kill first. So Jabs will get the experience. Give it to I don't them think he can be grabbed. As a gesture of goodwill. 
I'm pretty <laughs> sure that was in the notes, is that it can't be changed right. anyway. Zai bottom. does get a healthy amount of damage, but pulled back to the hands of Palos. Palos is going to get stunned up, though, and Zai might just be able to keep his distance here. Jab's going to have to right-click him down to be able to get the kill, but Zai's not dead yet. Finally gets it, but obviously a great trade-off for Liquid as they brought just simply more heroes to this fight. Is that a good vibe for the team? You're going to have some good momentum. He's definitely feeling himself. Already rotating back to make Coil up. Coil instantly gets broken. Can he blink away before the snowball hits? The snowball does land. The blink goes out through, but the flame break is tick, tick. taking him down, and they're going to catch him eventually here. Corralled into a corner, and Boxy can do nothing to save him. And uh, now, this game, it's Fennec. They're the ones who have the pressure on them to control the early game and end it before Liquid gets to their timing. So, yeah, or at done. least get enough map control going in. All right, there's that jab's death. Whoo! Matumba Man takes a lot of damage in the last few ticks of Firefly, but. You get the kill on the Bat Rider. He's definitely going to want to use it. They're going to lose too much map. They're going to dive in going. deep for this Earthshaker this kill. Gets the Echo Slam out. A ton of damage onto Armel, but he has already jumped away. Mickey wasn't able to hit that one. Palace on the side actually hits a hook, but he's kind of alone here. Help? Unless Amaro's going to come, come back in. Sai starts draining away some of that damage, but with the magic oh, coming is. in, it's both the Rot and Jabs' is damage. They do get that kill on the Razor. I said like a this a cheese. year ago. I said this shard is the truth. All right. You also said a bunch of other crap that made no sense. So <laughs> yeah, but you know, yeah, yeah, boy who cries right night eventually. stalker shard and what is this? <laughs> All right, Fnatic want to defend the tower. Yeah, this is going to be the second night time, but they still want to be able to fight. They've gotten the opening onto Mikke. Nice Fisher is going to be able to delay a lot of this can't damage, but he just can't get away. Snowball, coil, everything being used to prevent this Queen of Pain from getting out. Now the shard doesn't quite grab. Well, it kind of blocks in Insania a little bit. They've already got some of the Liquid sticky turn, maybe. But Dumb Man's going to go back in. He's got the silence onto the, the Batrider and the Tusk, who no saves available whatsoever, and both of them are dead to right. Zai's going to keep moving forward for the extra kill onto the Enchant perhaps. Snowball. Well, it buys a little bit of time, but uh, Insania somehow gets the double kill. And now the Enchantress. I'm surprised anybody's still here. Palos is still here as well. They all Liquid's going to run down everybody. Overextension by Fnatic on the back of that fight. Not respecting the strength of this Night Stalker during nighttime, especially if they have no lasso to control him. Going to push him to the BKB. A Razor who is super struggling, right? Trying to make he has the one charges. Jabs has to go back in for the kill. Echo Slam attempted. Oh no, you hate to see it. But at least the fact that he pulled in Jabs deeper Doesn't does matter. mean that uh, he ends up trading out his life. He's definitely created a lot of chaos this game. You know, the early lane swap, the first Ooh, blood. Armel, that's a really big kill. They've got the Fisher, Or do they have the Fisher? Yeah, they've got it. Stops the TP. That's a dominating streak. Big pickup. The same time they do kill Insania. We saw Insania actually had a lot of gold stacked up. Well, once he has a BKB on that Pudge, there's nothing stopping him. Jabs lasso bottom. Getting killed by oh, no. the Oh, no! The BKB goes off from Zai. I mean, he rushed that one, even if he was having a little bit of a slow game. He was going to get it eventually, and it seems like Jabs was not ready Double for it. Coil. Oh, nice dodge there. Double coil. The silence Not is there. Too. Oh, no, the puck. Armel, this is not the same game as last one. You cannot just YOLO out like you did. He was outplaying everybody on Liquid in game one, but this time there are better answers to him. Fnatic in trouble here. No mana on Palos. He has Aegis. Adumba's oh, an no. absolute monster. They're going to get run down one by one again. Tries to prevent them from chasing down Palos to blink away. DJ's actually maybe fine here, but it's going to be Palos is left down. Still like 10 seconds left on Darkness. Buyback from John Well to try and deter the Tide. Go for the hook. Yeah, good try, good try. So he is committed. That's an expensive item. We'll see if it pays off. You know, hook Oh, okay. Echo, Echo, do they have the burst for it? Yeah, they've got him. Jabs baited out by Mickey. And Boxy claims his head. And it looks like maybe DJ is going to be able to get the return kill. And the blink. Oh, the blink away just before the Shadow Strike either way. This is a strong coddle if he gets his spells off. Not if he gets jumped. Beautiful ward for Fnatic here. Jumping forward, spotting him, coil, and hook back. Does Matumbo want to take the fight here, 4v5? Do have a nice Fisher setup here, but it looks like Liquid are going to call it quits. 
but Jabs, he's not going to let him get away so easily. In fact, Zai, he's going to make the call to perhaps go back in. He's got his BKB. He's going to be lassoed up, but he's already got his combination off. So Jabs is going to be a sticky situation. Going to need a force staff out, but the Void will cut him down. Palace pops his BKB, goes for the Dismember onto the Razor, but they do have that ultimate going to town. He's losing his armor. No the Night Stalker is killing him fast, and Zai will not survive. It looks like that last hit from Jane will finish him off, but it's still Liquid easily winning that fight as Fnatic once again chasing into Liquid and Liquid making the right read. They turn. Just clear down the right side of the map. They sweep over to the left. That is where Fnatic is. Their smoke is going to break on Jabs. Liquid has they spot him. Oh, and he beat instantly. Gets Scythe the Vice. The Beautiful hook back, hex. but it's not going to be enough to save him. Palos now has to pop his BKB to try and stay alive, but he's not able to TP out. He's going to be run down by this Night Stalker and Razor and burst it apart as the pure damage comes out from Mickey to eliminate not just the Pudge, but the pickup on the Enchantress as well. Fnatic needs to dodge, and they need to dodge real well. Palos may not be able to dodge far enough. The four staff gets him to the other side of the fissure, but they're still going to keep chasing Wait, all the way to tier threes, pulling them back in deep, deep, deep. They got the kill and the punch, though, and it looks like they're going to be able to get out. Is that a problem? Well, maybe. Zai, slow down a bit, but Fnatic, can you not win a fight around your tier three? Probably not without their carry. Too they hold him here. They keep him here a little bit longer. Coil breaks off of that push. Nicely done. They get the razor Boxy? kill in return. Boxy went in. Boxy goes down. Wrong direction. <laughs> what? <laughs> he was looking for the echo. I think he got like pushed on the other side of the barracks. Otherwise, he was looking for the three-man echo there. He used that outpost teleport to come a little bit sooner. He would have caught him. Nice idea from Insania. Still, Fnatic escaping through from the that Lincolns. ascension. And suddenly, no dark ascension for this fight. Mickey, he jumps in with his Shivas. Palos has his own, and he gets a really nice hook Amazing on the Boxy. Hook. Zai, though, does get a distance away and has already stolen some damage while the Puck falls in the background. They're keeping this uh, Pudge nicely kited out, and Zai lives. I thought he was going to die to the rot and give up his life, but no, he lives through it all. Two cores down on the side of Fnatic. Interrupting it. Matoma comes in with the bashes. Now Liquid in a situation where they can force buybacks out of Fnatic. They will do exactly Wait, did that. Did they just overextend again, diving the in too deep? Beautiful. The shard is perfectly placed to get two core kills. Sure, it was a buyback on Armel, but eh, well worth it for Fnatic. And now Zai. He has no BKB either. He's Ten seconds. Get caught. Stuck in the coil. Nowhere he can go to. Whittling him down. Any liquid. Might live. BKB coming up. No, TJ's going to catch him. He's going to make sure. Oh, never the mind. Echo. The Echo Slam turnaround from Boxy. Nets two. Zai, his BKB is going to run out, though. Palos and they will still here. get this kill. And now Boxy's going to be caught as well. No point in unlocking that A on disc. There's no escaping this punch. Dieback for Armel, though. 100 seconds on the sideline. Oh, no. Little game of Hunt the Pudge. They spot him. Not a hard oh target dear, to find, I guess. <laughs> yeah, he's a, <laughs> he's a big boy. Hard to miss that guy. Yeah, they crouch down in the trees, you know? <laughs> One second blink. Think about that, Cap. Think about the memes. Well, think about the lasso. They found Matu. No BKB. And he doesn't have the Aegis either. Palos coming in with the Dismember. He did get off the BKB, so he's not taking a whole lot of damage. And Matum Man is going to use the Ascension to be able to get away. At the same time, they got the Fisher onto Jabs. Quickly eliminate him. And now look to be able to chase down these heroes. Zai. Once Palos, they've slowed him down. The Armel went in. Hook grabs the Night that? Shocker. A beautiful one from Palos. No, gets the kill on the carry. A beautiful pickup, but Zai is still undeterred. Refresh He's going to pop razor. that Refresher Shard and go for Palos. Underneath the Tier 3s, they dive again and again. Liquid are not to be stopped, it seems. No matter how many times this goes wrong for them, they keep doing it. Is there another Shard to somehow salvage this fight? Oh, Zai, stop it. <laughs> I feel like he's tempting fate at this point in time. Nah, okay, the Echo Slam catches Armel in the end. Attempted to go for the snowball save. DJ misses out on that one. A jumping past the tier fours now. The silence stopping Palos in his tracks from being able to get off a dismember. Nice hook Beautiful back though on a boxy. He does have the Eon disc if he wants he's to pop all it. All alone pretty much. Yeah, the punch. DJ goes in for it and they finish him off. All right, every liquid's like, okay, okay, okay. Enough is enough. Fanatic. Finding openings in these fights that are extremely one-sided, but as you said, Liquid just demolishing through with the back of this refreshed Razor. What do you think about this uh, new 25 Talent for Razor? Do you feel like this is, actually makes the hero even better late game? 
The fact that you now steal attack speed instead of the double link. I mean, it's not doing anything this game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Stealing Pudge attack speed, but yeah, I mean, this is pretty nasty talent. Especially Scythe. if you get multiple links. Bounce back off of the Lotus Sword, but there's so much damage coming out from Mickey. It almost blew up Palos. Zai's going to go for it, though. Link Lincoln's block. Lops the dismember. Palos back into the fountain, but he can't quite make it. Zai finished him off. <laughs> Shard block me here, son. <laughs> Zai, you don't give a damn, it seems, sir. I mean, after that game one, which was rough for Zai, it's nice to see him with uh, some vim and vigor going in. Doing Matu. a little fountain diving. Not too fed him a little cheese, you know. Oh, so very congratulatory nice. Congratulatory cheese. Armel looking to try and turn this around. All right. Pull him, him back. Into the pull him back. So close, but not quite into the fountain. It's okay. Zai's been there before. They choose go for the base. They're going to go for the throne. And Fnatic trying to fight it out with Armel, but you can see they're just not a match for Liquid. This time around, there is way more answers for these slippery heroes on the side of Fnatic. And Liquid will even out the series, so they get the tie 1-1 and uh, keep their hopes for staying out of that uh, deadly bottom two of groups.